comedian David Boyle and I'm quitting alcohol. So it was my son's first ever game of soccer today. Like legit game with two teams and a referee on a field. We've had him doing like soccer joeys it's called, soccer joeys and they do it on a basketball court and it's just chaos. So this was like a legitimate game and... We might have a player on our hands here. Like, I don't know soccer at all. Like, legitimately, I fucking barely know the offside rule. Of all the sports I played when I was a kid, and I played all of them. Basketball, baseball, t-ball, AFL. I even played rugby for one game. Squash, tennis, fucking, you name it, I fucking had a crack at it. Except for soccer. I never ever played soccer. In Melbourne, when I was younger, there was only one thing gayer than actually sucking dick, and that was playing soccer. (laughs) And to be fair to Melbourneites, it's pretty true. Like, shin guards? You need shin guards in soccer, do you? The pussiest of all the footballs in the world needs shin guards. Do the professionals play with shin guards? Please. Muay Thai kickboxers don't even use shin guards. They use a palm tree to fucking tenderize them. So I'm not like the best judge on the soccer field, but I think we might have a little bit of a player here. And and I am his harshest critic as well. So before the game today, I took him down the park because he was a little bit nervous And we kicked the soccer ball around for a little while. And I was like, fuck, today is going to be a disaster. This is not going to go well. Because to say his skills were not quite there in the park kick would be an understatement. Like he plays soccer with the kid down the road every day. All day, every day. But mainly what these two are trying to do are like trick shots and like fucking rainbow kicks and all sorts of flicks and flops and shit. They're not getting the basics down. So you kick the ball to him and he goes to stop it and it rolls over his foot and it goes a mile. Anyway, I was like, it's his first game. Don't be too critical. Don't withdraw all your love for a bad performance. Just half. Just to let him know you're disappointed. That was my game plan going into it. My reaction. So we get to the ground. The game starts. And like, this is the under eights. But we're in Australia and everyone's pretty fucking competitive here. The parents really get psychotic. I only get psychotic if I don't see effort. If I see effort, but you're just retarded, that's fine. But if I see you're retarded without putting effort in, not fine. Okay, that's all. You can't help if you're retarded. But be the best retard you can possibly be. You know what I mean? That's the only thing I get upset with. Lack of effort. So the game's about to start. I'm looking at my son and he's real fucking nervous. He's like as nervous as he normally is before the jujitsu tournaments I force him to do. (laughs) But I don't know. It's not quite the same. You haven't got some psychotic kid fucking trying to strangle you to death. And plus you get to run. So the game starts and... He's a good defender. He starts defending well. And then he's got all these skills that I've never seen him present to the world before. And he's just doing these long runs, dodging like players, dribbling down the field. He did like maybe 10 of these runs, like going around players, dribbling around, taking the ball, spin it. Like it was, it was like shocking. I was like, where the fuck did this come from? And then he scored a goal. He's gone from can barely kick at the park with me to like dominating his first game and kicking a goal. It was shocking. And then I'm like, all right, I'm going to have to look into soccer. I'm going to have to get my coach's hat on (laughs) because this could be my Bitcoin. He could be my Bitcoin. Like, should I invest in Bitcoin or my son's soccer career? Which one? Which one has the most potential for growth? I don't know, but it was really good to see that he's not fully retarded because he's fucking obsessed with soccer. 
Like every morning he wakes up at 6.30 just to get to the TV before anyone wakes up so he can fucking YouTube soccer highlights. So that was nice, but I'm going to have to sharpen up my soccer skills as well because to be fair and honest, my kicking wasn't the best down at the park either. If it's AFL, Australian rules football, that's fine. I played that my whole life, except... Those three years from like 13 to 16, I got on the bongs pretty hard. And then 18 to 27. (laughs) And then I had one game and then zero from 27 till now. So when I say my whole life, like, I mean, a few years there. But I know all the skills. I know what's going on there. I don't know anything about soccer. I don't know how to stop or dribble or anything. I also don't want to sound like one of those dads that is just like, fuck yeah, my son's the best because I was fully, fully expecting him to be like one of the retards, like the Mighty Ducks. I thought the whole team was going to be like the Mighty Ducks before they got good because I went down to training on Thursday and I watched this ragtag bunch of fucking losers And they fucking sucked. They sucked hard. (laughs) Like, real hard. I was like, this is going to be real depressing. And then they come out on the field. They won 5-1. They got out on the field, and somehow they all meshed together. And they were passing well. And I don't know. They did well. Even the full retard kids did well. They were a little bit like the Mighty Ducks. It was actually exciting. I didn't mind watching it. It was fun. So that was my day, and uh, yeah, I turned on the news. Five people got stabbed in Bondi Junction, which isn't too far from here. It's the biggest mass attack on Australian soil since Port Arthur, since the fucking mass shooting in Tasmania that precipitated the seizure of all our guns, the gun ban. So now if you want to go on a rampage, you've got to do it with a knife. And this dude did. I don't know any of the details, but it'll probably be on the news all around the world. Bondi Junction's a very important place. Anyway, that'll fucking do it for today. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, and I'll see you the fuck later.